Hello everyone, we will continue the topic modularization techniques and in the previous videos, we created the function modules. Now in this video, we will cover how to save test data for the function module. Before understanding the topic, what I will do, I will go for the function module which we created. This is the function module which we created. Suppose I want to check the output of this function module. What we were doing? I am running this function module. I will go for the input. Yes, this is our input. I will provide the input. Suppose I am saying option I. So sign I option between. Suppose low is 1 and high is 5. I'm going to back button. Now I will simply, if I want to debug, I will debug this function module. Suppose I'm executing and I got the output of the function module. Suppose after few minutes or few hours, I want to analyze the output of this function module for some another input. Suppose I want to check the output of this function module for another input. So I will simply execute this function module. I will go for the input. Suppose this time I want to check for, suppose low is one. Suppose I want to go for five also. So I will just go for new line. Now suppose I will go for I EQ. Suppose I'm going for five. I want to check the result for input one or five, one and five. Now, if I want to debug, I will debug. And this is the expected result. Now, just see, every time if I want to check the output of the function module, I am giving the input, I am checking the result. How much time we are wasting in providing the input again and again. And just think this function module has only one import parameter. This function module has only one input parameter. In real projects, sometimes function module has 5, 10, 15, 20 import parameters. So will you provide the input every time and check the output of the program? See, providing the input to 10, 20, 15 parameter, how much time consuming it is will simply waste 15, 20 minutes in that task itself. So in that case, what SAP has given the provision, you can save your test data. Next time, whenever you are running that particular thing, use that test data. If you want to go for some changes, do those minor changes into that test data. And again, save that test data it saved our times a lot, especially in the standard transaction course. Sometimes we have standard function modules have so many import parameters. So if we will provide the input again and again, so we will spend our whole day in providing the input itself. So always, always make a practice that you will save that as a test data. And next time you can use that test data. As a technical person, we should not waste our time in doing all these things. Our focus is on the debugging, writing the code. Do not waste your time on these kinds of things. Now I will show you how, how you can go for saving of test data. Suppose I'm running this function model. Suppose I will go for the input. Suppose I'm saying I. Suppose option is between, I will go for input 1 to 5. Go for back button. Now here, here you have a option, save data record, or you have a option here, edit, save data record. It is totally your wish. You want to go by which path. I will simply, simply click here, save data record. Now I will give the comment. It is good. If you will give the comment, you can analyze, yes, what is in that particular test data. Suppose I am saying order number 1 to 5. 
it means this particular test data has the input 1 to 5. I will go for copy. Suppose I am executing and I got the result. Suppose after few hours or after few days or after some time, suppose I want to check the output of this function module. I want to analyze this function module. I want to debug this function module. So I will simply, simply run this function module. Now there's no need to provide the input again. If you are going for same to same input, just use your test data. So whatever that test data we saved, now it is in test data directory. I will go for this test data directory. I will simply choose. Now you can see we got the same to same. If you want to do the changes into the, that test data, at least that is saving your time. Suppose rather than five, I want to go for three. Suppose I will go for back button. I can save this also at as, as test data. Suppose I will go for save. And this is our order number one, two, three, suppose. Now I will go for copy. Now I will simply execute and we have the expected output. Suppose if I am running the function module again, now we have two test data for order number one to three also, order number one to five also. Suppose I am running this function module. Go for test data directory. Now you can see you have two, two test data, whatever the test data you want to use. Suppose I'm selecting this, then we have one to five. Suppose I'm selecting another one, then I have one to three. So it is saving our time a lot. And as of now, I'm showing you that you have only one input parameter. If you have so much input parameter, then at that time, it saves our time a lot. Now, if you want to delete the test data, that's also possible. Suppose I do not require one, two, three. So I'll simply select and I have an option here, delete the test data. So if you think that this test data is not required, you can delete that test data also, yes. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I explained how you can go for test data, how you can save the test data for function modules, widely, widely used in the projects and it saves our time a lot in real time projects, especially sometimes we need to debug the standard function modules at that time, we'll not waste our time in providing the input again and again. We will provide the input one time. We'll save that as a test data and next time we will use that test data. That is always, always the best practice we use in the project. Now, whenever or how you will save the test data, just run that particular function module. You have an option here save data record or you can go for edit save data record whenever you will save the particular test data will save into the test data directory next time you can save that particular test data now it is also not not mandatory that you can only go for test data you can save any number of test data because sometimes we have so many test data then you can save those test data and depends upon that you can save that test data and you can delete those test data also and always make a practice whenever you are going for execution or whenever you are running the function modules always make it as a test data because next time it will save your time a lot so that's it in this particular video thank you